then in July 23rd of that year, Michael Jordan's father gets killed. And I actually interviewed one of the guys who was involved in the murder. Um, and we talked about the whole situation because at the time, the rumor was that his dad got killed over gambling debts, uh, which in fact, there was no truth to it. It was really just a, you know, a couple of 18 year old kids who lived in a trailer home had a chance to basically steal a car and end up killing, killing the guy who they didn't know was Michael Jordan's father. Um, and then that same year in November, uh, Michael Jordan retires and the whole NBA investigation ends two days later. So essentially he never really got investigated for the gambling. Uh, when you heard about all that happening, uh, what did you think? Well, I was in, uh, I was in Seagerville, Texas, when his father got killed. And, and uh, what's so funny about that was when I was sentenced in Charlotte, I'm sentenced to nine years in federal prison. The judge had told me, uh, like I said before, I'm going to take everything you got. I had to pay my own way from Charlotte to, to turn myself in in Texas. And when Jordan's father was, when they came out and asked me about it, I didn't know anything about it because I'm, I'm on the lock and key and enjoying every minute of it on the lock and key. That was some of the best years of my life in prison. You ask yourself, how could you be so happy and you locked up? Because I'm getting a thorough education about different forms and different forms and ways of people, how they live. In prison, you get more in prison than you would get in a four-year college. You got doctors, lawyers, pimps, hustlers, child molesters. It doesn't matter. Gang bangers, mobsters. You can't get that at Duke, Carolina, or any ACC school or anywhere. But in, in federal institutions, you can get it if you know how to carry yourself in a respectable way. And getting back to Jordan's father, I don't... I, I can't tell you yesterday or tomorrow. I don't know anything about that. But, you know, it's a bad situation when anybody loses a life. Yeah, that was a horrible situation. Yeah, bad uh, situation. Yeah, and the guy, uh, one of the guys who did it ended up making a, a hip-hop music video in his, trailer, in his trailer home wearing Jordan's father's ring and his chain. And yeah. they, of course, find all that. And, you know, these guys are still both locked up in prison, you know, decades later. Yeah. 